Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the Love and Romance reading for the second half of April of 2020. Welcome. If you're new, welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. I'm going to be starting out with a Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue, and then I'm going to be clarifying those messages with the wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Gemini energy I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages in the area of love and romance. Covering the energies for the second half of April of 2020. Circle spread. All right. So we have a Gemini right off the bat who is thinking about a past relationship. In the thoughts position, Spirit is trying to remind this Gemini, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on, that you deserve real love. And that you are indeed very lovable at this time. Now, in the relationship sector, definitely around the week of April 20th of 2020, we have a lot of passion in your heart. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And creatively, pray to spirit and have faith and trust that love, the correct love, will come your way through your prayers, right? Our human nature cannot make a relationship happen. A true soulmate connection is a gift from the universe. So trust and have faith that you really do deserve love. Now in the actions position, in the second half of April of 2020, remain positive and optimistic about love. For emotionally, we have a Gemini here who is... Uh, has been, thank you, spirit, separated from a past life connection. They may have started to feel this Gemini, or you, if this is your energy, whoever is listening, um, made you feel as though you didn't deserve to have love somehow in your life. But spirit is advising you to remember subconsciously um, that true love um, could be coming your way. We'll clarify here in a little bit. Now, in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have a situation involving marriage or a deeper commitment. Some are hoping, wishing, praying, and trying to have faith that there will be a, a, a deeper commitment with someone tied to the past. So if you are <clears throat> fearing that that can't work out because of a separation, the advice here is to definitely remain positive and have faith, right? Like in my live video podcast, for faith in spirit is what will bring you a soulmate connection. When I was in my younger 20s, um, I was looking for love and I ended up running into a soulmate when we were both doing backflips off the sand dunes on a beach, right? It's unplanned. So it's about having faith because we cannot make something come manifest um, that is true. We have to trust that spirit will send someone to meet us when the time is right. All right. So in the inner strengths position, spirit's giving this Gemini the strength in the second half of April of 2020 to love yourself first. For your self-respect, knowing that you deserve real and true love and having faith in just that is what will make you more romantically attractive uh, in the second half of April of 2020. So for some of you, if you've been wondering about having an honest heart-to-heart -heart discussion with someone about how you feel, there could indeed be some form of reconciliation if you have someone in your mind. Uh, if you are single, uh, the advice here is to trust and have faith in prayer, um, to forgive what didn't happen or turn out in the past, uh, and to let go of trying to control, which is what I was just getting to. So uh, by the end of April of 2020, uh, you could very well, if you are positive and optimistic and trust and have faith in love, uh, as you focus on what you enjoy doing day to day, 
for some of you, like I was just going to say, uh, you will be attracting a new love. Uh, for some of you, you are going to be tested in the area of love, unrequited love, so that spirit can see if you um, are too codependent. So there's a lesson here for some as well. All right, so I'm going to bring in clarification with the wisdom of the House of Night deck. We've got a couple few energies going on here. Should any of these messages be resonating for you and you'd like further information and your own personal energy read, feel free to email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Clarifying messages, please, for this Gemini. Yes. So if you are a Gemini who's thinking about a past connection, uh, know that with the differences card showing up, this person just doesn't see things from the same perspective as you do, and that's okay, right? Take what you have learned about yourself and know that in your thoughts, you are to be remembering that you deserve real love. Uh, it is time for you to receive energies of great confidence. So work on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill that you enjoy uh, during this epidemic, for that's going to bring you great confidence. Uh, take an oath to yourself in the area of passion and lust. Yes that you're going to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, that you're going to allow yourself to enjoy a passionate connection with someone and not fear what happened in the past. Now in the creative aspects position, what they're having, they're saying have trust and faith in the second half of April of 2020, Gemini, and to speak your truth with others about loyalty. Maybe even with yourself. What does loyalty mean to you? For you deserve real love and you need to be confident in that. That there will be, for some, a very passionate connection um, that will lead you, or passionate energy that will lead you into what could be a true love, a romance of a lifetime. So in the actions position, we have remain optimistic about your love life. As you bring an old connection that doesn't see things from the same perspective to a conclusion. Remain optimistic that some things don't happen because new things are meant to come in. Emotionally, there is time apart here on the horizon. So for some of you who there is a confusing partnership going on, know that you deserve real love and you need to walk in energies of confidence and take an oath to yourself that you're not going to just give in to the passionate energy without first discussing what loyalty and the long-term commitment means to you. For the high priestess of air is here to help you in your element to get to the truth of the situation and to be strong enough to cut away from and bring a conclusion to anyone who doesn't see things from the same perspective as you do, but to instead create trust and loyalty in your heart, most importantly, to yourself first. For subconsciously, there is a true love energy, a romance of a lifetime, right? Someone's really hoping for a deep commitment to come into their life at this time. So spirit saying subconsciously, be clear with yourself about what you've learned and the visions of what passion means to you. Take an oath to yourself to not give in to the lust of the flesh, but to instead uh, trust in yourself that you can speak of loyalty first before going uh, into the lust of the flesh, right? Because when we give in to that passion, once that dissipates, if we don't have a solid foundation of long-term plans, goals, and intentions together, then, there, then the, the connection just simply falls apart. So we have in the day-to-day -day aspects position, a situation involving marriage. So for some, maybe you were wanting to connect with someone tied to the past and they don't see things from the same perspective because they're already in a commitment or partnership. So Spirit's offering you the reminder card, which is a tombstone that says, don't forget. Don't forget what you learned in a past commitment, partnership, or contract for some of you. 
where someone didn't have the same uh, outlook or uh, didn't reflect on the partnership in the same way. For you're going to have the strength now to separate yourself from people who don't want the same goals and intentions, to take an oath to yourself, to speak with someone up front about your visions of a long-term future, uh, to trust and have faith and spirit that as you are loyal to yourself with this confident energy, that you will have the strength to not only remain optimistic in the area of love, but to very clearly bring a conclusion to anything that really isn't love, right? You're the boss of your path. You get to say who comes and goes. Now, in the uh, inner strengths position, you have this inner strength to be able to love yourself first. Look at they're giving you double strength. To be able to speak your truth, to know that you deserve love, to not give in to the lust of the flesh, and to have the strength to remain optimistic about love where you bring things to a conclusion when it comes to those who just don't see things from the same perspective as you do. There's a lot of strength here. I now see what I didn't before. I can now let go and walk in great energies of self-worth. For I was in denial of unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles within myself or another. And now I'm going to listen to the truth of what someone's saying and speak my truth about my personal goals and intentions in the relationship sector of my life. Someone here is he healing emotionally because they are creating success in their own journey. It's your personal goals and intentions, hobbies, gifts, talents, skills, financial ideas, creative ideas that's making you feel more confident. So this Gemini is starting to recognize the difference between lust and love. Love is about long-term patience and kindness, communication, not giving in to the lust of the flesh, letting go of denial when it comes to some form of wedding commitment partnership. Yeah, by the end of April of 2020, we have the High Priestess of Earth. What I'm feeling here is this Gemini is being guided to create and manifest great abundance and happiness and joy and stability in their own life for that will free their mind when it comes to someone whom by which they may have thought was their soulmate in the past. For with the forbidden energy showing up, Spirit saying it is uh, this connection for someone here that is unhealthy, and you know it is or was, uh, that no matter how badly you want to step into that doorway, that doorway is being blocked in order to protect you. You will have the strength and the actions position to bring a situation to a conclusion and still remain optimistic about forward movement. Yes, there's some form of deceptive energy around whichever Gemini I'm reading for. I don't know if you're deceiving yourself or you're being deceived by someone else. Either way, you've got emotional in the emotional aspects position, the high priestess of air, the strength to bring a quick and swift ending to a situation whereby someone just doesn't see things from the same perspective because you know you deserve love and you're confident enough to bring a situation to an end if it doesn't serve you, if they if you've been in denial. So let's go ahead and bring in the element signs, elements or astrological signs of the people whom by which this Gemini will be dealing with in the second half of April of 2020. This is the Rider Waite deck. So again, by mid-April of 2020, we have someone thinking about a past connection, a connection whereby someone just doesn't see things from the same perspective. That situation has gone full circle. It was a karmic situation that was meant to teach you more about yourself. Therefore, the wheel of fortune can now turn in your favor because you are more confident than you used to be. Some of you are going to know that you deserve real love, that maybe what you were waiting for wasn't coming in because it wasn't supposed to. 
You'll know that this is your uh, message when the Knight of Pentacles shows up and someone was dragging their feet. They were dragging their feet because they didn't see things from the same perspective. Now, in the relationship sector, by the week of the 20th of April of 2020, we have someone being guided to take an oath uh, to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That doesn't mean give in to the passion right away. Okay, now I've seen strength here twice. Some of you may be dealing with someone who has Leo in their chart. Take an oath to yourself that you're going to uh, stand strong with that inner confidence. Know that you deserve love. For in your creative aspects position, as you create communication of loyalty and trust and spirit and have faith that a connection or communication will eventually come your way because you spoke your truth, because you didn't give in to that passionate energy, because you waited to see if your ship was going to come in. Again, we have fire, Sag, Aries, or Leo. For some Geminis. Now in the actions position, the advice is to remain optimistic and to know you have the strength to take action, to bring anything to a conclusion whereby someone just doesn't see things from the same perspective. For some of you, it could be that by the end of April of 2020, Gemini, you are dealing with maybe someone older than you who has fire in her chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, or this is you setting goals and meeting goals and creating wonderful things in your life that make you happy as you remain optimistic. Now, in the emotional aspects position of the circle spread, we have by the end of April, the high priestess of air coming in to help you to bring an end to a situation that does not serve you. For some of you, it's time to recognize that a long and difficult path is over with the Ten of Swords. The swords are now dissipating. You are now able to stand up stronger because of what you went through. Therefore, you can now step into a path of victory and separate yourself from someone who is dragging their feet because they didn't see things from the same perspective. And that's okay. Trust and have faith subconsciously that true love a romance of a lifetime will come because you are expressing your visions to another or others. You're taking an oath to not give in to that passion, but to instead first speak your truth about what you want to celebrate in the area of home, family, business, contentment, stability, and security. In the day-to-day -day aspects position, this is about a situation involving marriage, wanting to come into a deeper commitment, partnership, or contract. As you are speaking to another about loyalty because you've learned in the past, right? With the tombstone that says, don't forget, you learned and you're not going to repeat old unhealthy patterns, behaviors, and cycles. For some of you, um, as you wait optimistically and bring a conclusion to what didn't come your way in the past, I think you're going to receive some form of offer or opportunity in the area of money. But we have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor and abundance coming your way in the area of creativity, finances, and career. So they're saying put your passionate energy into what you truly love to do. Create your own stability and know that you will give off a bright, beautiful aura because you are happy day to day, which will eventually bring someone towards you. Okay, so in the uh, inner strengths position, we have as you love yourself first. You're going to feel a lot stronger. You're going to be able to remain optimistic and to bring conclusions to any situations that do not serve you. For some of you, um, you're acknowledging victory in your life because you have set goals and meet goals. You're starting to recognize that you have strength, the strength now to move into your a new direction of your own where you can cut away from anyone or anything that doesn't serve you, where you can bring a conclusion and separate yourself from anyone or anything that caused you some form of pain. So some of you may have been connecting with another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and now you're able to love yourself first, put yourself first, trust and have faith in spirit, and speak to others about what loyalty means to you to share your true vision with another or others. Uh, for some of you, you may be coming into connection or have by um, 
the week of the 20th of April, 2020, where you're connecting with a fire sign. Just remember to speak your truth and to put yourself first, for you're going to have the strength to do so in the second half of April of 2020. For some of you, I do feel with the High Priestess of Earth, there could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that's keeping you stuck or trapped in your thoughts because they're dragging their feet. And day to day, you may be meeting uh, or receiving some form of communication from an Earth sign, um, but Spirit's saying, remember what you learned in the past. I think for some of you, there's a new passionate soulmate connection coming as you let go of that which caused you pain. Because you now have learned what doesn't work and who you, who, how you gave into some passion without holding out and holding on to your visions and what loyalty means to you. After difficulty, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, but you've got to remain optimistic and you've got to cut away from and bring to a conclusion anyone or anything that brought you pain in the past, for that was just a test. So I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed So during the second half of April of 2020, you've got the Eagle King Energies Gemini. It's time to recognize the big picture of all that has transpired, of what you learned, and now who you are today, as you set goals and meet goals in an optimistic way, as you speak your truth about your visions and what loyalty means, as you let go of what the difficult lessons you have learned and replace those lessons with goals and intentions in your own personal journey. For this is a time with the altar priestess energies for preparation and prayer to do have a sacred ritual or you tell spirit, I trust and have faith that you will guide someone to me when the time is right. Yes. And in the meantime, I do feel, even though I know this is a love reading, when the Diamond Dreamer energy show up, uh, somebody here is really focused on their success, their material wealth, their real prosperity, what really you were sent to this earth to do, write, draw, paint, sing, dance, whatever it is, as you let go and go with the flow, I think Spirit's going to bring someone towards you again. It's either a very passionate energy or someone who has fire in their chart by the end of April of 2020. But now is a time to preserve your ideas. It's not a time of action in the area of love. It's a time to illuminate and celebrate your gifts and talents. For there is angelic and miraculous aid that's coming your way in the area of a sacred union, partnership, or romance. Some of you may recognize this by the end of April or early May of 2020. It's just a time of kindness and consideration, of forgiveness. And resurrection. Okay, so if you are interested in a personal reading, I can't remember if I said or not, I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and many blessings of good health to you and yours.